Good morning. I'm glad you're here. I just had somebody leave my office and praying about something that they've been praying about for quite a while and saying, why is it so hard to know the will of God? Why? I mean, you know, it, you'd think he would just tell you. I mean, he wants you to obey him. Why does he make it plain? I mean, how, why has it got to be so difficult? <laughs> well, I want to give you a few scriptures. The Bible says in Matthew 7, 7, Ask, and it shall be given to you. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. Everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it shall be opened. We have to qualify that just a little bit. Because Job asked and asked and asked and asked, specifically, basically saying, Why have I been picked on? Why have all these bad things happened to me? Why did I lose my family? Why did I lose my income? Why am I broken out with sores all over me? Why is my wife telling me to curse God and die? Why, 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 why? God never said why until the very end. He said, Job, I'm going to tell you why in a roundabout way. I'm going to tell you that there's a lot of things that are above your pay grade that you don't understand. I made the world. Oh, uh, Job, by the way, did you make the world? Uh, I created the animal patterns. By the way, did you do that? Uh, do you make the uh, grain to grow that you've been bringing in all these years? No, no, no. Every answer was an unqualified no. All of those questions, he can never answer yes. But then he finally said at the end, you know what, God? I used to hear you, but now I see you. Right after this person left, I started praying for just a minute, and he directed me to a book. And you know whose book it is? It is Joni Erickson Tata. She's the girl at 17 that jumped off a dock, I believe it was, and severed her vertebra, and she was a paraplegic for the rest of her life, and still is. And so... She talks about, of course, why. But you know what she said? She said, you know, I discovered something. God wants to tell you everything, and that's his nature. But on the other hand, he really doesn't. And she said, that's not schizophrenic. It's the nature of God. It's that which calls us in deep, cries unto deep. And the answer that she finally came to. She said in Proverbs 25 two, it is the glory of God to conceal a matter. But he said in Jeremiah 29, 13, you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. It didn't say you will find all of your answers when you seek me with all of your heart. It said you will find me. That's what Job did. He found God. Instead of getting all of his questions answered, he found God. You know, that's what the journey is about. The journey of your problems, your financial problems, your physical problems, your marital problems, your ch problems with your children, your problems with everything. Do what? Drive you to the throne of grace where you see God in a way you would not have seen him had you not had those problems. Seeking those answers is not wrong. It's part of it. But the great, great pleasure and solution is finding more of God. The Bible says he's put it in our hearts to want to know. The want to know is fulfilled in a hymn, Jesus Christ. He is the answer to every question. God bless you. Have a great day.